Hebrews chapter 6 verses 19 to 20. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain, where our forerunner, Jesus, has entered on our behalf. He has become a high priest forever. In the order of Melchizedek, Jesus represents us before God as our High Priest. Since his priesthood is after the order of Melchizedek, which is one of righteousness, his righteousness becomes our righteousness forever. This means that we are forever righteous in God's eyes. And because he will never die, but persist as our High Priest forever, we have an eternal righteousness. Not a here today gone tomorrow righteousness based on our works but a perpetual and everlasting righteousness, because Jesus is our High Priest forever. This also indicates that blessings are constantly on our head, because the Bible says that blessings are on the head of the righteous, and we are righteous forever. Unlike the priesthood according to the Levitical order, which blesses as well as curses, the priesthood of Jesus according to the Melchizedek order only blesses. There is no cursing, only blessing, always and forever. And for the reason that Jesus is our high priest forever, the blessings do not come to us in random droplets, but stream into our lives in a continuous flow. Because he is our high priest forever, we can never cease his blessings. By being our high priest forever, Jesus also touches the blessings that he gives us with a forever outcome. He touches our lives and we have eternal life. He touches our ministry and its impact becomes endless. And the more we see his priesthood as having a forever end result, the more unending our blessings will be. Truly, there is nothing time-related about what Jesus our High Priest does. It is not an occasion of blessed today, cursed tomorrow. The blessings we accept are certain and reliable because Jesus is our High Priest today, tomorrow and forever. So rejoice because Jesus your High Priest changes how you are blessed forever.